¿Por qué Waymakers? Uh, porque tiene que haber algo diferente, algo que levante la voz de la comunidad latina y que, haga, y que tenga una representación hispana, porque no la hay. Y a veces es el trabajo que lleva. Y por eso es que está este banco de comida. Eh, es pan. Waymakers Foundation came from a preaching that I was listening to. I have always said that there is a way to a problem, to a solution. No matter what it is, there is a way. But I have noticed that I don't do that by myself. There's always people with me. So that's when I say, well, you, we find a way and we have makers. So everyone that comes in here and pitches in your time are, are, are way makers. They're making ways for others. My parents migrated me to the United States at the age of eight. I always wanted to empower myself just because of the financial crisis that I was saw my family going through. Economically, in my country, I was okay. But when I came here, it was a little different. I had more responsibilities. I had to become a babysitter and I had to hear a lot of discussions of uh, we're short on rent, we have to pay the car, or oh, the car's not working, or we don't have money for this. It was never really in front of us, but everything echoes behind the walls of the house. It happened with me when I opened Waymakers, um, when I started providing certain products that were more just directly to the Latinos. When I used to ask for donations, they're like, well, if they need it, they'll eat what there is. And I was like, no. Everybody eats differently. That's why we're all from different countries, different tastes. You know, diversity involves culture, you know, what you eat, what you listen to, everything's different. If my mom could come, if I can go back to I was eight or nine, and my mom will walk in to a food pantry or a food bank that will provide plantains, that will provide beans, that will provide a papaya, that will provide anything like that, I'm pretty sure my mom would have saved $150, $200 that week and could have paid the light bill on time. My experience for generations, just not just me, but anyone else born after before, I think have experienced almost the same. When you are from a different country and coming to get a resource as essential as food, picking up something that you're not accustomed to eating. We have carambola, which is star fruit, plantains, papaya, cilantro, onions, potatoes, oranges, green bell peppers. Que le vaya muy bien. We have fresh meats, chicken, pork, beef. I think in any Latino family, depending where you're from, you're, you can have, make something out of that. Dignity to me is to be served equally. When I serve food here, I feel like I serve it with dignity because anything that is in here, I will take it back home and use okay. it for myself and give it to my kids. Que le vaya muy bien. Thank you for watching. Continue to follow Virginia News and Stories by subscribing to our VPM YouTube channel.